the forehead of your robot. On the 20th of August 2001, after the first two hijackings, the Nick Jr. channel was hijacked again for the third time, once again happening during an ending of the show Little Bear as the Nick Jr. logo again went too far for the third time. The hijacking occurred exactly three years after the death of a person named, Jenica Waitman. Meanwhile, back to me though, the DVD disc I had last part gave me nightmares, even worse than the paranormal activity I always encounter. I still didn't want to find any more lost DVD pieces buried in the ground, but I was wrong. Let me tell you what happened. I was going to a small town in Texas with my dad, because my mom had to take both of us because she wanted to visit somewhere. Until then I was walking all over the place, until then again, I found another disc on the floor outside of a door from behind a store, and so I went to the store and I bought the disc for myself to check it. When I came back home, I investigated the disc. I saw that there was text written in the disc, reading. Do not view what you will see in this disc. You will soon regret it for yourself. Ignoring the warning, I decided to insert the disc on the old Windows Vista computer, and the video player started to play. It started with a part of an episode of Little Bear playing, I mean, the part I was watching was from some episode that I forgot its name. Nothing to see here, and while bored out of my mind, I fast forwarded it to the end credits. However, while the end credits were playing, something strange was happening. To my very own astonishment and alarm, the credits suddenly glitches out to a black screen, and when they returned back, the video itself started to get much darker and unsettling music began to play in the background. Chills were being sent down my spine as the impossible then happened. The Nilvana logo was then playing, but once it finishes, the screen abruptly cuts to the Nick Jr. logo, and it was very shocking to see. What I saw there was an empty white background, and then, I saw the dead body of Jr., with his mouth wide open. There was blood being spilled down from Jr.'s torso. As the video continued, the screen abruptly glitches again to show an image of a missing person poster of the long dead Jenica Waitman, lasting for about 15 to 20 seconds. Until then, the screen glitches again to show a picture of Jenica's dead remains. It was pixelated, thankfully. After that, white text appeared at the bottom, which read. She broke the rules, so I broke her limbs. It lasts for about 5 to 10 seconds, until then, another piece of text was shown and it read. The little sunspot didn't listen either. The text was white, except for the little sunspot part, where those three words were shown to be blue instead of white. Until then, after about five seconds, the screen abruptly cuts to an ominous standing figure of Nick. His mouth was open, and his word mark was again shown as kin, which means Nick backwards. Nick was sinisterly staring directly at me in the eyes as if his gaze were piercing from beyond the screen. Later after that, the screen then abruptly showed Nick holding the head of the deceased Junior. Nick's legs were also being shown after being partially darkened. Nick then started to say something to me in a cacophonous manner, as stated in a piece of red colored text shown to the left of him. It only gets worse from here. After saying that, the text disappears, and he continued to look directly into me until then, the impossible happened. Nick then started to rapidly zoom his head towards the screen, where his face now becomes Kirkov's face, bearing that face-shaped head with black eyes and a sinister grin. The entire screen then abruptly cuts to pitch black, and then, the entire screen froze. After that, an error message appeared right in front of the screen, stating that the channel is currently unavailable. Before then, the video player closed itself. I decided to eject the disc and threw it onto the wall several times. I was questioning myself, whose idea was it to send me this kind of disc like this? Who did it? And so, I decided to take the disc and then I drove to the Nickelodeon headquarters and I then reported it to them, as I was giving the disc to them. One employee from Nickelodeon then told me. This disc was made by Ivan, the person who would often hijack the Nick Jr. channel to show disturbing variants of the Nick Jr. logo that traumatized many kids. And so then, I've been having nightmares recently about the experience I had with that other disc I brought. 
To this day, the only known source of the footage is from a video uploaded by Seismo, MK700. It is called, Another Nick Jr. Anomaly, 2001, Found Footage.